Welcome, welcome everyone to our special Monday night segment where we are sharing a little bit about the people who are in our business of money and a little bit about that business. Um, we really have a awesome, awesome lineup today. So if you're listening to this, you are in for a real treat. I'm Kat Gertzen. I have been with the company for just over six years, and I'm going to be your kind of like your master of ceremonies tonight. And I'm going to walk you through a little bit about our company, our products, and how you can make some money with that. But first, I'm going to actually introduce you to someone who I have known for a very large portion of my life. She reminded me this weekend of just how long we've known each other for by one of the most embarrassing pictures ever taken of me in my entire life. Um, she shared it with me. And so I have to break into her home and destroy it or her parents' home. I don't know where it is, but I it will, I will do it. Okay. Um, <laughs> but I want to introduce you guys to Kelsey Bennett, a longtime friend of mine who I grew up playing soccer and ring at with, and we went to school together and all of those things. And we got to find each other again in motherhood. And then we got to find, we get to run together in business. So Kelsey, unmute yourself and bless everyone with your voice. Oh, hey, if anyone wants pictures of Kat, let me know. I will send them to you. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, Hi, I'm Kelsey Bennett. I'm excited to be here to share my story. Now, I was debating what story to share because I've been doing this for a long time. I have like a lot of layers to my story. But since my girl Kat kindly put in my blob explanation in my, our little graphic there for this call, I will share the blob story, um, which is like the beginning of my story. So it's it's fitting. Um, so a long time ago, uh, Kat and I uh, went to school together, played soccer together, and just like, I don't know, life got busy. I ended up moving back to the same town as her, and she actually babysat my son for me. And that kind of brought us back together. So one day she tells me like, hey, I am doing this thing. I had a girl that I went to college with who started this shampoo business. She's doing so well. She quit her job. Like, I'm going to really go for this. And I just don't want to like go for it and get really good and you be upset with me that I didn't share it with you and give you the opportunity to run with me and here's where I show my my little I don't know my my I feel bad when I say it but I was like okay <laughs> no thank you like have fun with that like totally just thought she was nuts um, she continued to come to my kids' birthday parties, wearing her Monate shirt, where my husband and I would just tease at her, like just so mean when I think back about it. But listen, this is part of my story. I will share it. Um, we were haters. Like, I didn't believe in all of that. Pure, I was totally like the pyramid scheme girl. Like, also like a little bit worried for her that like, I don't know, girl, like, are you sure you want to like get involved with these, these things? Like, you ain't going anywhere. Then I watched her get a Cadillac. Then I watched her, you know, quit her job. So I became a believer. But anyways, during all of this, after I said no to her, I had started, I, I made something for my kids off Pinterest and I put it on the mom's group saying like, oh my God, you guys have to make these are so much fun. So basically it's two pieces of plastic. You iron them together and you fill them with water and they're called water blobs. Well, my post absolutely blew up and all these moms were like, can you make that for me, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, at the time I was reading a story or um, a book called You Are a Badass. So I had this like, just fire inside me of like, I need to do, and I was like, this is my thing. I'm going to make blobs. So I made a business page. My husband and I went out and bought hundreds of dollars worth of these huge, heavy rolls of plastic. I bought multiple irons. My entire basement was full. I had to use my entire basement because they were like, I think 10 by 20 feet. So they were huge. Um, and all summer long, I was in my basement, ironing plastic together by myself, listening to podcasts like I am a businesswoman, okay? Um, did super well, like so proud of myself. I still think it's the coolest thing ever, but it was so much work. Um, then I have this business page that now I have people, so I have to get it to them. So like, come pick it up. Oh, I can't come at this time. Can I come at this time? I'm constantly on my phone trying to figure out how to get people their orders. Like, it, there's so much more to it that you just don't realize that was like making me want to rip my hair out. But I was so excited about it that I was like, really, really trying. Then, because it's summertime, we usually go to Nova Scotia for two weeks. 
so we went to Nova Scotia and I brag, I brought two blobs out there. Like, yeah, I'm making these, like I'm killing it. And I'm just like getting orders after orders, but I'm in Nova Scotia. I cannot make a blob in Nova Scotia. So I'm getting orders for two weeks. I have people that still never pick their blobs up. I don't know how to get it to them. Like, I don't know if I should leave it out on my porch. They grabbed the wrong one. Oh my gosh, it was just a nightmare. So, and then I don't really know, somewhere in there too, Kat gave me um, uh, samples. And well, first I tried to get the products for free. That's also part of my story is like, sure, girl, let me help you out. Just give me some free shampoo and like, I'll tell everyone about it. Like, I'll try to help you, right? She would not, she would not give it to me for free, which good on you. Don't give your stuff away for free people. But she held, she held strong on me until I finally was like, listen, I need to try this stuff. So she gave me samples, tried it, like fell in love with it. And somehow, and I still don't really know how, I think I just realized that like the blobs was just not working out for me. It was just so stressful. And somehow Monate just like snuck into my life. I joined I did not buy a product pack which was like the stupidest thing I ever did also because I ended up spending way more money so I joined in uh with the starter kit and we had I I uh, hosted a launch party and my business just blew up I sat down with Kat and again I was still kind of thinking this was kind of like silly right so Kat sat down with me one day and said like let's just pretend for a minute if you could actually make this be something what is an amount that you could make per month that would just like change your life so I said at that time we had a house in Nova Scotia still that took four years to sell so we had two mortgages I said well I'd like to cover the mortgage in Nova Scotia thinking like uh, I did that within a couple of months so my blobs like we're just not worth it anymore what a hassle like then I just started realizing how network marketing is like the, the most brilliant way. I don't have to go out and buy hundreds of dollars worth of something to create something to then figure out how to get it out to my people. I can work my business in Nova. The next summer I went to Nova Scotia working my business easily from my phone on my mother-in-law's couch from the beach in the airport, in the airport, right? Like, you know, I feel like I really love to support my friends who um, put effort into trying to support their family. But it's like, can you just take a look at this? Because there is something that's just so, it's just the way, it just makes so much sense. And it didn't to me at the time. And uh, yeah, still selling my shampoo on holidays. So I don't know, now here I am, uh, five years, six years, like I, I lost count, but the way that it's all snowballed, like I said, I have so many layers to my story and how Monate has been there to help my family through so many different moments in life that just over and over, like, oh, more people need to know about this. Like more people need to just realize how much it just makes sense. And especially like right now, times are kind of weird and like, you know, what's your plan? What's your plan B? Like, what's your, I don't know. It's, I lost my job for eight months during COVID and I didn't see that coming. So I'm in healthcare, like how, what? So sometimes life just, you don't know what's happening. So I think it's important for everybody to have a little side hustle. And I'm just, I can't, I just don't know where my life would be if I didn't press accept. And on that note, I highly recommend everyone read You Are a Badass because it's a really good, really good book. And that's kind of what got me started. I don't think I've ever read that book. I would have snowballed into, so with Monate too, with personal development is a huge part of our business. And that's something else I think more and more people need to do. But anyways, that's just a part of my story, but that's the one that I wanted to share today. So if you want to blog, Sorry, you're going to have to make your own. You got to make your own blobs now. But I have shampoo if you want some. <laughs> you got to make your own blobs, Strathcona County, because Kelsey yeah. is a business. I'm so. retired. <laughs> I got messages for years and years. I still, every once in a while, be like, hey, are you making them? Like, no, I'm retired. <laughs> Buy some shampoo. <laughs> yeah. 
right? Um, I love that. And I think that it's such like a real story in the fact where it's like, I don't know of a person who's not a doubter at the beginning because we've been taught our whole lives. Like if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Right. And that's because of the false narrative that so many people put out there. But I think a big thing was that Kelsey was able to see that it wasn't like this thing that I just sat on my butt and got success. Like it wasn't just like that. It you have to work for it. And she saw that, right? She saw that. And so she didn't come in also, you guys, with this false narrative in her head that she was going to push accept and magically orders were going to roll in. She talked to people, right? She didn't sit under this rock just being like, I sell shampoo. Like, no, she, if you all follow her on Instagram, like you'll see, like she's always talking about it in like a really, really good way where it's not spammy. It's not weird or anything like that. She's flipping hilarious, but I'm going to kind of roll here into a little bit about our company. And then we're going to have another guest speaker for you guys tonight. So it's really exciting. Um, but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our product promise. And it's actually a reason why you guys at the, like right at the very beginning of this business, when I didn't know anything about um, shampoo or any of those things. I was a recovering dirty girl, right? Like I hated washing my hair. I hated doing all those things, but it was this product promise is a big reason as to why I was able to be so confident in being like, no, you can buy it or sign up. Like I'm not giving it away for free because it's not tested on animals. We're leaping bunny certified. We're gluten-free. We're vegan. We use only safe clinically tested ingredients, right? So when stuff is clinically tested, like the ingredients in the products. And I'm looking at these clinical, like these clinical tests that are done on our products. And they're saying like, these are the results people are seeing from this ingredient and this ingredient, this ingredient, this shampoo has all three of these ingredients in it. I'm like, this stuff's going to work. Right. Like I've never read clinical testing on the drugstore brands and even the professional lines that I had used previously. So I was like, this stuff's going to work. So I was very confident in that. And I want you guys to all feel confident in that as well, because we're sitting here seven years later as an over billion, over a billion dollar brand that doesn't just happen by mistake. Okay. You don't just become a billion dollar brand by mistake. So anything else you hear, you can be like, yeah, but how are they a billion dollar brand? Because we freaking rock and our products work. Okay. And we are a family. Like I love how Kelsey talks about, there's just these layers to her money story and every single part of her life. That's kind of how it is with everyone. I think every single person here can kind of like think back on their money career and they can kind of understand and know. And if I hope this is the feeling that every single market partner sitting on here, and maybe the guests will feel this one day too, is like, you kind of know if you ever needed something, you for sure could reach out to one of your money sisters and they would be there for you, right? Even if you've only met them online and seen them through Zoom videos, right? Like it is a family and we are right from the core, like the ownership of our company is a father and son, right? And every single one of their kids and siblings are have their hands in the business working in it. Like it is their livelihood too, it's not like there's this board of investors that they have to answer to that are also, this is their livelihood too. They care. This is their baby, just like it is ours. And we own our own distribution and manufacturing. So we have distribution in Canada, US, in the UK, in Australia now. We are officially about two weeks, a little less than two weeks into our pre-launch in Australia. So if you have any Aussie friends, make sure you let them know because there's founder shares on the table for them. And what that is, is profit sharing. And I just did mention that we are currently a billion dollar brand. So I'll let you do the math on that. Um, another reason that our products are so great is because of our scientific advisory board. Okay. So go into your computer and just type in money scientific advisory board. Okay. You're going to see people with a lot of letters after their names and in my personal experience, the more letters like MD, PhD, <laughs> all these different things, they mean that they're people who've done a lot of schooling. And if you want to get really, really excited about our products, there's a stamp of approval put on our products by Antonelli Tosti. And she is a one, she's one of the most published doctors when it comes in trichology, which is the study of hair and scalp. Okay, guys go check it out. She's the real deal. And she puts her stamp of approval on money um, products. And that's really exciting. And so we have 
a few different ways that you can take part in this. Okay. So if you have other questions about the products and what's going to be right for you and what should you jump in with, don't be like Kelsey. And if you're going to be a market partner, join with a product pack, right? She said that to you there, it costs her way more money by not doing that. So really think about that, but you know, you can go to the person who brought you here on this call and you can ask them those questions and they can connect you with other people too, who can answer all those questions for you. I'm going to talk a little bit about our customer program, which is this program is there's our customer program and our market partner program, which I'll go over in a little bit later. But so if you're wondering like, where do I fit in in this? How can I, what do I know? Do I want to be a VIP customer or do I want to be a market partner? So if you're the type of person that when someone says, oh my gosh, I love your jeans. If you're the type of person that just says, thank you. And then you move on with your day. Customer is probably the best place for you. Okay. If you're the type of person, when someone says, oh my gosh, I love your jeans. You're like, oh, aren't they great? I got them at winners and guess what? They were on sale. Market partner is for you. Okay. If you are someone who naturally and authentically talks about things because people are going to say, oh my gosh, your hair is so shiny. Like, I don't know if you guys can notice the shine in my hair right now, but like it's there and it's very shiny. And people say to me all the time, like your hair, your hair is so long. Guess what I say? I don't say, oh, thank you. I'm like, oh yeah, I use money. Did you want to try some? right? That's how your business starts with this. But I'm going to introduce someone who, um, you know what her, she started her business because someone noticed how shiny her hair was. That was literally the thing that got her in. Uh, so I felt like that was the best leeway into that. And I'm going to introduce you to someone. Her name is Kathy Gertson. Um, if you didn't notice, my name is Kat Gertson and my sister's on here named Larissa Gertson. Yes, it's not by chance. We are all family. Um, but this is my mom. Um, and she is going to talk a little bit about her story. And I think it's super special because I think, again, it is a very real an authentic story. So take it away, Mama. Thank you so much. What a great uh, introduction. Um, honestly, um, after hearing Kelsey speak, uh, you know, I, I realized that we do, we have so many layers of our stories. And, you know, so often we tell the same story and it's like, because it's something that's hard to us, but it's, it honestly, it grows, the story grows. And I think I just want to take one second and tell you and tell everybody here and everybody who decides to join this business. That's why it's so important to write down at the beginning that why, because, and your story, write your story down, why you, why you want to do this and tell your own, write your own story. Everything we do goes in chapters. And I feel like it just, it sees how we grow because when I started this business, um, I didn't believe in myself. So I honestly didn't think that this would be anything I could ever do. I actually um, believe this, how little I believed in myself. Um, we used to do opportunity calls before our, the, before Monate started. And I was at the lake listening to this opportunity call. And when they start talking about the comp plan, they got to MM. And I, um, I actually put the phone down and just went and cleaned my kitchen while it was on. And uh, because I knew, I just put it on speaker and thought, well, I don't even need to look at this. I don't even need to hear about this because I am never going to get to MM. And I did it within five months or five months. I did it. So I honestly didn't think I could ever do this because I honestly was the only one that didn't believe in me. I, I felt like I, why would I ever be, I didn't have never succeeded, truly succeeded in anything other than being a mom and being a wife. And I thought that was enough. I really did. And I'm not saying it's not, it, you know what, honestly, it was enough until my, all of a sudden I realized it wasn't enough, if that makes sense. I realized I had given everything to my kids, given everything to my husband, but I kept just thinking, I was okay. I'm doing okay for me. And, and as a mom, you guys, we do that as a wife, we do that as a sister, as a daughter, we all do that. There's somebody that we always tend to give more to than ourselves. And I all of a sudden realized, what am I going to do? I need to do something for me. This is a long life. You guys, we're here for a long time. And I wasn't making me, I wasn't filling my own cup up. I made sure everybody else's cup was full. And I know I've seen on here, 
everyone on, on do the, you know, the reel where, you know, you fill up all the cups and then, but if you fill yours up, you actually fill up everyone else's cups. Well, I wasn't doing it. I was filling up everyone else's cup and I was the one that wasn't getting filled up because I honestly was scared. I was so scared to do this because I'd always failed. It's so many things I'd done for me. So I thought, why? One more thing. I didn't need to fail at one more thing. So I th it was easier to say no to everything. So I didn't fail because then I didn't know if I could take one more failure. So then when all of a sudden, like Kat said, someone noticed my hair. And I thought to myself, why not? And I realized, you know what? Why not? Why not? Why can't I have what I see other women have? Why can't I, I get to? So yes, the fear is there. It's still there. Every time I have to do a follow-up, every time I do a reach out, every time I tell somebody about that, I still have that little jitter of fear in me. And I don't think if, I think if I didn't, then I almost feel like, Maybe it would have just gotten too easy. And maybe then I, I, I honestly think I'd be going backwards, but I'm not going backwards. I'm never going backwards. I'm never leaving this business because there's always someone out there I can teach how don't live in fear. Live in the point where you know you can do this. So I want to thank you. That is nothing, you guys, nothing what I wanted to talk about today, but I just, it's nothing what I have written on my piece of paper. But for some reason, I, uh, I just had to tell you guys um, that little story about me. So thank you guys very much. Wow. Hey guys. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I think that it's so special because it's so real because I think every single person's been there where we've let fear paralyze us and not move forward. Right. And it just takes that one step, that one moment where you're like, why not me? Right. And she's the most humble person ever because she will not tell you that she's a top income earner. She will not tell you that she's a Cadillac earner. She'll be like, I earned MM in five months. It's like, no, but she's been killing the game and being a top income earner for six years. Right. So if you're doubting yourself, if you're sitting here as your new market partner, maybe you're a guest on this call and you're like, oh, but just think, well, why not? Right. And so I'm going to move in and I'm going to talk a little bit about market partner. Okay. I'm going to talk about, about what that means and what that can be for you. So market partner realistically is the way that you're going to have an add you and stir business. All right. So you're going to have your forward facing website. That's going to be the place that you send your customers to, and you're going to have your back office. And I like to refer to that as like your business mainframe, right? That's where like all your reports come in and all of those things and how you're going to keep track of your business. Right. Um, and you're going to place your own personal orders through that. And then you're also going to get 30% off your products. Okay. Which actually can go up more than that because we also as market partners are eligible for purchase plus. Okay. So it's like, that's like a layered savings program that we have. The more you spend, the more you save, but let's talk about the business building aspects of this. All right. So one of the biggest things, and I know it's the only reason that I was able to get my mom and sister and probably Kelsey too, to say yes to me on this was that there was no mandatory orders that you had to spend every single month to stay a market partner, that there was no obligation for you to buy. That's a really big deal. Okay. Because I'm sure everyone has been personally victimized, just like Regina George. Okay. Auto ships get us all right. We should have a burn book on auto ships. <laughs> right? But that's a really big deal that I don't think that we talk about enough. Also, the fact that you have an unlimited earning potential in this business, okay? You do. If anyone tells you that you don't, they just are putting the cap on themselves. You can literally make as much as you're willing to try to make. I like to say to everyone that, you know, people will discount earnings, but do you understand that for somebody to put 500, make $500 a month and invest that into their retirement savings, what does that do for them over the course of 30 to 40 years? Okay. It's a really big deal. So never discount any amount that you're looking to earn into this business because it can be life-changing, especially as someone like myself, who's a massage therapist, that I don't have a pension plan. Right. I don't have a company contributing to an RSP, RSP for me when I was still massaging. Right. So that was a big thing for me. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's life changing to not have to worry about retirement. 
That's a big freaking deal. So looking at things like that, but you're also going to be, if you're a traveler, there's going to be four times a year that you have that opportunity to travel and earn that while making money and earning free trips. Like who all here wants to go to Vegas? Like I'm sure everyone here is running for Vegas and everybody wants it. Who we got Cancun, we got Miami, you hit MMB this month and you're going and maintain it. You're going to my, there's like trips on trips on trips. You guys, it's a really, really fun thing. Okay. <laughs> and it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, you're going to earn commissions on what you do and the people that you bring in train and help them do. That's how we get paid. We get paid backwards in comparison to the traditional business world, right? When you walk into the business world, your manager is going to make money, even if they don't help you get good at your job. But when you join with someone for them to make money, they have to really, really work with you and help you be good at this job if you want it, right? That's the, that's, I would say is the biggest backwards part. Okay. Hi, Dom. Hello. <laughs> um, but you guys, the, really the choice is yours. It's up to you. You can literally be a silent supporter or a vocal supporter of your friend that's decided to jump into this hair care business. You can be a customer and you can be a market partner. It's really up to you. But with that, you guys, that's our evening. And so if you have more questions, go to the person who sent you here or sent you this video and say, Hey, I want to know more. Okay. I want to know more. Tell them what you want to know more about. And we're here to answer all of your questions. So with that, you guys have the most amazing evening. I hope you have a great Monday and a great rest of your week. Bye guys.